Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from Chanel. This one is called Chanel Edition Blanche. So this one gets talked about a lot as a summer fragrance for men. Uh, you'll hear people compare this to the smell of a lemon meringue pie. And maybe it's me, maybe I haven't smelled a lemon meringue pie in a long time. But I really don't get that comparison all too much. I can see where people are coming from because there is a prominent lemon note mixing with some vanilla. But other than that, I don't really see myself drawing that comparison personally. With that being said though, in this review, I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and things like that. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go and get started. So starting off with the smell of this fragrance, what I get in the opening, like I mentioned previously, is that lemon note. The lemon comes across very prominent right when you first spray this on. Those of you who have smelled the other Chanel Allure Ohm fragrances, you'll start to draw immediate comparisons to Allure Ohm Sport O Extreme. I can start to pick up on a similarity there pretty quickly. This one though does go a little bit more sweet with the vanilla and with that prominent lemon note. There is a little bit of a spicy touch as well, but mainly what you're getting is a nice creamy vanilla and lemon mixture. I also just want to mention that I have the Eau de Parfum version here. There's an Eau de Toilette, which has a slightly different note breakdown. Uh, people often prefer the Eau de Toilette. That one came out first in 2008, I believe. Uh, people do often search for that one. This one, though, is the Eau de Parfum. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. In the dry down, I still get that lemon and a little bit of sandalwood and tonka bean starts to come in even more prominently. Again, that's kind of tying back to where it smells similar to Allure Ohm Sport Extreme. It's got that nice tonka bean in it. Um, and this one in the dry down, that lemon and that vanilla starts to tie in with some sandalwood tonka bean, which gives it a nice, sweet, creamy, and a little bit of a powdery dry down. From beginning to end though, this fragrance is for the most part on the fresh and citrusy side. Um, definitely a summer gourmand fragrance, and there aren't really too many of those out there. Uh, gourmands, for those of you who aren't aware, are fragrances that smell somewhat edible. Uh, to me, I still don't consider this a full-on gourmand scent. I know, again, people like to compare this to lemon meringue pie, and I do see where that's coming from, but I do think, in my opinion anyways, at least to my nose, that's a little bit of a stretch. And I asked my girlfriend about the same thing, and she agreed with me. We really don't get that lemon meringue pie comparison all that much. Uh, so for me, um, not a full-on like gourmand fragrance, uh, but it is in that same category, and I can see why people do consider it like a summer gourmand fragrance. So when can you wear Edition Blanche? This fragrance is really suited for that spring and summer wear. Uh, for spring and summer, casual is about all that I personally would wear this for. Again, it's got that nice uh, lemon vanilla sweetness mixing together, so it's just a really good casual fragrance for summer when I want something that just smells really nice with the lemon and something that's a little bit sweet as well. Really, really hot summer days, I'm probably not going to be reaching for this one. There is a lot of depth with it. So like I said, mostly a casual scent for spring and summertime. Um, formal, dressed up, not really so much. To, to me, this is a very playful fragrance. One that is just best for casual wearings, and that was, that's about it. Definitely more of a warmer weather scent though because of that lemon, in my opinion, that nice citrus that it has, really helps it to shine in the warm weather. Uh, fall and winter time, I personally wouldn't reach for this one as much. You could still pull it off because there is a lot of depth with the vanilla, with the sandalwood, and those other darker notes. So realistically, you could pull it off in those times. For me personally, I would end up choosing something like Allure Home Sport O Extreme that I've been mentioning in this video, just because it doesn't really have as much of that summery overall feel. This one to me just smells very much like summertime, uh, just something that's really good for that time of year. This could be a good signature scent though for summertime if you wanted it to, uh, mostly casual, but you could wear it on dates and on things like that. Formal wear, not so much. Realistically, you could pull it off if you wanted to. I do think there are better fragrances out there. Uh, for example, Blue de Chanel from the same house as everyone knows about that fragrance. If you wanted to go with something more formal from the same line of Chanel, I would maybe go that way. You know, not the best formal fragrance, but if you had to in a pinch, you could still pull it off. As some of you know, I'm now carrying a bunch of new fragrances on my website. Uh, they're all brand new authentic fragrances that I've been sourcing out from wholesalers and distributors around the US uh, to give you guys really, really competitive prices. Um, I'm trying to compete with, I'm trying to compete with FragranceNet. I'm trying to compete with. I'm trying to compete with websites like FragranceNet, FragranceX, Max Aroma, and all of them uh, to try to get within the same price, if not even better than those websites. 
Also, another thing I'm really happy about is the shipping speed. Uh, if you order from somewhere like FragranceNet, it's gonna take you about a week uh, to get your package, about five days if you use their standard shipping service, which is either like $7 or uh, free, depending on if you spend enough money. Uh, with my website, people have been getting their package within about anywhere from two to four days. Um, typically two to three is the average about how long it's taking. So again, that's another thing I'm really happy with, uh, coupled along with the prices. I'm trying to be as competitive as possible. So if you wanna go check out some designer fragrances, definitely go check out the website. I don't have too many niche fragrances yet. I'm working on getting there. Um, I've just added some more Versace fragrances to the website tonight. So if you wanna go check that out, go do so. And I also have a 5% off code if you sign up for my mailing list. Um, a box will pop up when you go visit the website, enter your email, you'll get 5% off your first order. Let's go and talk about Edition Blanche performance. Would I get from this one longevity wise about six hours? So it's not you know the best, but it's also not awful. It's about that moderate range. Projection wise, it's about in the middle as well, maybe slightly below average. Really doesn't push out all that much on my skin. And the high heat, it is going to project better. So if you are wearing it outdoors when the sun is out, it's going to push out more. But for indoor use and just regular temperatures, it is going to sit closer to the skin, but it will leave a nice scent trail. So performance overall, definitely not the best. It's nothing to write home about, but it's not atrocious either. Uh, when you are talking about Chanel fragrances, uh, they are expensive and oftentimes they are not found at discounter. So you'll most of the time end up having to pay retail. And the fact that it doesn't perform a little bit better than what it does is disappointing when you're paying. I think the retail price is like $95 for a 50 mil bottle, which is this size. size. So if you're paying that much, you would want more performance. There's really not much you can do about it though, other than to just spray on more um, and reapply throughout the day. So overall performance, like I mentioned, it's not awful, but it's not the best either. Compliment wise, I think this will be a good compliment getter. My girlfriend does like the scent. Um, like I said, we don't get that lemon meringue pie, so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about going out and smelling like pie. Um, I don't think really most people are going to draw that comparison. Uh, so for the most part, this is going to do well for you. Like I mentioned, this is very close to Allure Home Sport Extreme. It's in that same type of DNA with that tonka bean powdery dry down. And that type of fragrance typically does do well. Um, you hear a lot of people talk up Allure Home Sport Extreme and people say it's their number one compliment getter. So this one does slot in with that same uh, type of scent. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues there. I really don't think anyone's gonna dislike on, dislike this on you. Um, it's gonna smell really nice. I wouldn't say that this smells like a cologne. So something like Blue de Chanel, Sauvage, those types of fragrances are more fresh and citrusy and you know spicy. Those have more of a cologne smell to this one. This one could go a little bit more in the unisex direction. It is a little bit more sweet with that citrus. Uh, so that is going to be different for some of you out there. Um, this is not a masculine fragrance, at least not in my opinion. Opinion. Um, it does still lean towards the masculine end of things in my opinion, but it doesn't um, smell just full on, you know, like Blue de Chanel or Sauvage. It does have a little bit of a unisex factor because of how sweet it is. So overall, this is a very safe fragrance and it's gonna do well for you in the spring and summertime. Talking about price, I already mentioned about $95 for a 50 mil at retail. That is pretty expensive. There's no doubt that Chanel's are on the pricey side. I would have to look up the prices for the larger bottle, the 100 mil, and I don't know if this comes in the 150 or not, uh, but I can imagine those are gonna be around you know, the 100 plus range. Uh, so really it's up to you whether or not you wanna spend that type of money on a fragrance. Definitely do not recommend blind buying this one, at least not at that price. If you can find it, uh, someone reselling it like on Facebook or on eBay uh, for a cheaper price and you wanna blind buy it, then you can uh, make up that decision for yourself. Uh, but full retail, that's not something I would do. Do I think it's worth the full retail price? I personally would not pay retail for this. Too expensive for my taste. Um, $95 for a 50 mil bottle. At that point, I'm getting into niche fragrance territory and I would you know, push that money towards some niche fragrances. But if you are a diehard fan of the scent, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So overall, my final thoughts on this fragrance, I really like it. I think it's a really nice release. I do see the hype. I do see why people like it so much. Is this going to become my favorite summer fragrance? No, I don't think so. Like I said, I do really like it. I think it smells really nice, but it's not one that I'm going to be reaching for a whole lot. I do like the smell, but there are a lot of others that I'm going to be wearing and you know trying before this one. But nonetheless, I am still glad I picked it up. I'm glad I have it in the collection. This is one that I've been looking at for quite a while 
just the prices were typically pretty high and I wasn't really in a hurry to buy it, but I really wanted to get it to review it for you guys and I am glad that I have it. I'm gonna be holding on to this one for now. It is a very pleasant scent. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.